So why choose AQA GCSE Dance? It is a new and exciting course to this school. We currently have two cohorts of dance, one being in year nine and one being in year 10. And these are our first two cohorts to be taking part in this GCSE. This course is great for pupils who have a really keen passion for dance. So some of you may dance outside of school, whether that be in a friendship group or whether that be competitively. Some of you have been dancing with me um, after school and have taken a real interest in it. So this course would be great for you. It's also a very practical based course. So 60% of your course is going to be practical based. We will have regular practical lessons throughout the course and also having theory lessons to understand the course. Throughout this course, you will study six different dances, which are from the AQA GCSE Dance Anthology. And these will be a variety of choreographers, music, dancers, and cultures. This is going to be studied through our theory lessons, which will predominantly cover all of them ready for our exam in year 11. You will also learn set phrases, which will lead to a solo performance. And you also complete choreography tasks, which will be completed either as a solo or as a group of two to five dancers. This course can lead to studying IQA GCSE Dance Level 3 in college or sixth form. It could be a stepping stone into a career of dancing, whether that be performance or choreography, which also links on to it gives you the opportunity to learn how to choreograph for others. So the course is assessed in two parts and they are split between component one and component two. So component one is regarding your performance and your choreography. So you are assessed firstly through performance and this is done through a set phrase which you will learn. OK, you will learn four different ones and we will select our best two and perform them. These will both be one minute in duration. The second part of your performance is a duet or trio, and this is involving the other two set pieces that we would use in our exam. This will be between three to five minutes in duration. The second element of this component is your choreography. So you will choreograph either a solo or a group performance. A solo piece will last between two to two and a half minutes, and a group piece will last between three to three and a half minutes for two to five dancers. The exam board will give you five different options for you to choose from for your choreography. You will then take that stimulus and you will create your own storyline, choose your own music and create your own performance. This is internally marked by me and then recorded and sent to the moderators for external moderation. The performance element of your exam is worth 30% of your GCSE, which equates to 40 marks. This is also the same as your choreography element, which in total will give you 60% of your GCSE. The second part of your assessment is component two, which is dance appreciation. So this is 40% of your GCSE, which is the equivalent of 80 marks. This will be assessed in a written exam which is one hour and 30 minutes in duration. The questions will be based on your own practice in performance and choreography. It will ask you to critically appreciate your own work and also the work of the professional works that we'll be studying. It will also assess you on the knowledge and the understanding of the processes and performance skills that you will undertake. Thank you all for listening and watching the video regarding IQA GCSE Dance. If you do have any other questions, please see the email addresses on the screen, which you can email for more advice. If you would like to research what dances we will be studying and what dances we will be performing, please do go on to the AQA GCSE Dance website where you will be able to access all of this information. Thank you all very much and I hope you are able to choose GCSE Dance.